Tonight, a mural honoring a tennis champion in Richmond's Battery Park has been restored after vandals defaced it. That's right, an 8 News reporter Nicole Danzler sat down with one of the lead artists who had to restore the paint and the mural not once, but twice. She's in Richmond with the artwork and its creator. The mural was a work of passion completed in 2017. It was untouched and enjoyed by the community until someone came and ruined it. But that wasn't going to stop one Richmond artist from highlighting history. At Battery Park, an eye-catching neighborhood mural which celebrates one of Richmond's history makers has a fresh coat of paint. The Arthur Ashe mural stretches across 2,200 square feet around the tunnel. Sir James Thornhill, one of the artists behind the painting, unveiled it in 2017. Well, they took me to the tunnel and I didn't see anything. I'm like, wow, this is going to be a great idea. The first tunnel work in Virginia, I couldn't wait. And, um, and and then it was on, you know, it was inspiration. But in October 2021, the mural was defaced. Vandals put symbols referencing a white supremacist group over Ash's face at the basketball and tennis court entrances. They also spray painted over the facts about his life inside the tunnel. I couldn't believe it. I mean, my heart just dropped to the floor. I was so hurt. Um, not just because of the time we put into it, but it's in your own neighborhood. You know, suppose I had been out there painting that night or suppose some kids had been out there. That was the scary thing about it. If somebody take the time to spray paint all that, ain't no telling what these guys might do. Almost a year after the vandalism, chilling video surfaced of two people tagging the mural. After that, a group of Richmonders filed a lawsuit against the white supremacist group they believe was responsible. Meanwhile, Thornhill got busy fixing work that had been broken. Trying to recap all those um, uh, shades and things was really, really a challenge. It took several weeks to get this mural back to the vibrant painting that it was meant to be. Thornhill says he's thankful for the outpouring of support and love from the community. The neighbors are now smiling and you can walk back through there with um, this happy look on your face again. Richmond police said they were going to use the video of the vandals in their investigation, but no word on whether there were any arrests. In Richmond, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.